Hello and welcome back. Today I wanted to come on here and do a little update since Levi is going to be 11 months old tomorrow. Can you say hello? Hello! <coughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, he loves the suck in his thumb now. The main reason I wanted to give an update is because I've been struggling with mood a little lately and I wanted to just come on here and talk about it because I don't know, it might help somebody else out that's struggling with mood issues this late in the postpartum journey. Yeah, so yesterday I had a very bad day mood wise. I just felt overwhelmed and hopeless and oh, like I shouldn't be here or something because I'm so bad at life. <laughs> but I think that had a lot more to do with maybe hormones than just a regular day. Like it felt like I was a little psycho and it's, it wasn't just my, you know, regular mood or my regular self. It has been a month since I weaned him. So I don't know if that could be making my hormones fluctuate or what, but anyways, yes, I'm struggling with that. I'm hoping that that doesn't happen too often anymore because I hate that feeling. That's the worst feeling in the world when you get like overwhelmed with with emotion. I, I have talked about this a lot throughout the journey, but I still have not lost even a pound since giving birth. I'm actually heavier than I was giving birth. So I don't know. I was hoping that after I stopped breastfeeding, it would help lose some weight. But so far that has not been the case. I read on Google yesterday that it could take two to three months for my hormones to regulate. So here's hoping. Otherwise I have no idea because I tried like pretty hard for 12 weeks here to lose weight and I, and nothing, nothing happened. And it gets like, you know, overwhelming and frustrating and you know, that I, I don't understand. I don't get it. Yeah, makes me feel defeated, I guess. I'm working hard to know, to remember like I'm worthy. Doesn't matter what my weight is. I'm doing something important by raising children. I have a beautiful baby that came out of this. So yeah, I am shutting off a lot of media right now because I don't want to see anything about diet culture because I know diet culture is not concerned about my health, even though, you know, but what it tells me, it's usually just about being skinny. And yeah, so I'm turning all that off. I'm trying to do healthy habits to be healthy, to feel good, and to like be the best mother I can be, I guess. But yeah, so far, it hasn't helped me with weight loss at all. <laughs> so... Also, I just want to share that too, because if there's anyone else struggling with this problem, not being able to lose any of the weight, just know you're not the only one. I am struggling with that too, and I'm, yeah, struggling to stay positive about it, but, you know, I have my good days, and I have my bad days, and I'm trying to choose every day to stay positive. And this baby is a wonderful thing, and it's okay to be heavier and that doesn't mean I'm not taking care of myself and also I know I come from ancestors that are heavier and I also don't have the lifestyle or the finances to you know be 100% great at dieting so I can only do what I can do and try to you know Try my best every day, and that's all I can do. So, there's that. The fun thing about hey, Levi is he's hey, waving hey. now. Hello, Levi! Now hello, Levi! Look! Hello! Yeah. Look at mom! Hello! He is starting 
going to sleep way better since I've stopped breastfeeding. He slept, I think he slept actually last night from 10 till 6.30 without waking up, which is like a miracle from like what he was breastfeeding because he'd wake up like seven times a night breastfeeding. So thank goodness he's doing better. So I'm getting more sleep or like better sleep at least. And he is starting to just stand on his own now. He has not walked yet, but I think he'll be close to walking in the next couple weeks. Before he's one, I think he'll walk. And yeah, so, and he's just good. He eats a lot. He likes to eat. So that's nice. Because our other kid, our Eli boy, doesn't eat very much. He drinks a lot. So it's nice to have a baby that will eat. Anyway. I hope your postpartum journey my dog is going a lot better than mine is. No, my, actually mine is my, going my okay. For the most part, I am doing good. And it's spring, so that helps because then I can get out and go for walks and get fresh air and do my stuff. And I'm working on garden plans this year, which is really exciting, which I might show you eventually once the weather warms up enough to start doing that, which is next month. Yay! Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I just wanted to give an update, say how we're doing, and I wanted to share that I'm still struggling with mood and weight issues, and I don't know what's going on with my hormones, but I think there's something crazy. And if this is happening to you at 11 months, I would love to hear more about it, or like if this happened to you later on in your postpartum journey. Because I feel like this is a little late to be dealing with this type of stuff. And I don't know if it's possible to be calling it postpartum depression it symptoms or whatever. But anyway, that's what I feel like it is. It feels like that. It feels like how I felt with Eli when I was having mood issues after giving birth. Anyway, I said anyway a hundred times. I hope you like my COVID hair. I really do feel like it makes me feel less frumpy. So that's always nice because I need that these days. <laughs> I will um, talk to you all again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.